when Charlie got hit. They're catching us in a crossfire, shouted Billy. Get to the other side! horses and bring them round back. I'll draw their attention. He directed that order at me, and I thought, why the hell do I have to do it? But I went anyway. Dumbass that I was back then. <laughs> Many would have fled in my place. But I had that false sense of invincibility that many young men have. Like Jack here. What are you saying, old man? Jack is just joshing with him. Yeah, he better be. Mr. Graves, please continue. Please, call me Silas, ma'am. Now, uh, where was I? You were heading for the barn. Castle of fallen foes. <sighs> Sounds like Garrett hired a whole regiment to fire guns. Yeah, and just when I thought I was done with them, more of these hapless bastards would pop up. Finally. I had the stables within my reach. After the fight, maybe we could treat ourselves to some fried chicken. And that's when I met Sheriff Pat Garrett. I read that you went toe-to-toe -to -toe with him, sir. That backstabbing bastard with that tacked-on tin star. that in a dime novel? It said he showed no fear as he took your measure with eyes like a rattlesnake. In a fair fight. <laughs> Is that what that Penny Dreadful said? No, boy. That ain't what I meant when I said I met Pat Garrett. So let me start again. I finally reached those damn stables. <laughs> Stepped inside and. <laughs> Last thing I heard was Garrett's voice. That's not Billy. And go on. How did it end? End? Boy, that was just the beginning. My throat's a mite dry, however, and 
I'm in need of some lubrication. 